everyone, it's Jana, and we have been in quarantine. We have been social distancing for over six months. So that means I've had a ton of time to watch a lot of new TV shows. So today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the TV series that I have watched in quarantine. Now this could be a very long video, so in order to streamline it, I am going to give you a very brief synopsis, what I liked about it, my favorite character, and the character that I am most like. That way you have something to go off of if you're considering watching the show yourself. And if you have seen any of these shows, I would love to hear your favorite character and the character you think you're most like. And maybe even the character you think I'm most like, because that might be interesting or hurtful, but hopefully interesting. I kind of tried to put these in order, um, but I'm not entirely sure, and I could be missing something. It was hard to remember everything because it has been so long. <laughs> the very first show that I watched when quarantine hit was Parks and Recreation. I had never seen the show, I watched it all the way through. The absurd antics of an Indiana town's public officials as they pursue sundry projects to make their city a better place. I liked this show because it was very light. There were not really high stakes, and with everything going on, it was nice to just have a show that was funny and lighthearted. My favorite character was Andy, played by Chris Pratt. I know that Chris Pratt is a bit problematic, but I, I really liked Andy. And the character that I am most like, this is interesting because I see parts of each main character in me. I think I'm a great blend of all of them. But I did take a personality quiz that spanned across tons of fandoms, and it ranked you with the characters you most matched over all of these different fandoms. Like there were Star Wars characters, there were Parks and Rec, there were Friends characters, you name it, it was on there. Marvel characters, Harry Potter characters. The person that I matched most with out of every single one of the fandoms listed at a 75% head match was Leslie Nope. So do with that what you will. The next show that I watched was Avatar The Last Airbender, and yes, I am so late to this party. In a war-torn world of elemental magic, a young boy reawakens to undertake a dangerous, mystic quest to fulfill his destiny as the Avatar and bring peace to the world. Why I liked Avatar? Well, first of all, it's beautiful. It's visually really nice to look at. It has a great blend of characters, and they're all very flesh out and very interesting in their own way. My favorite character, oh, it's so hard. I feel like for a while I was saying Katara, but Sokka has really grown on me. And the character I most like, I think I have a little bit of Sokka in me and maybe Aang. I'm not as, like, what's the word? Like, I'm not as, uh, like, I don't want to say diplomatic as Aang. Like, I'm not as, like, I'm not as noble as Aang. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I think I have Aang's childlike sense of wonder. The next show is Kim's Convenience, specifically season four. I had already seen the other seasons prior to quarantine, and when I heard that season four was coming during quarantine, I felt blessed. Thank goodness. It is exactly the kind of show that I needed, that we all need, to be honest. I, I recommend this so highly. It is on Netflix. Please watch it. The Misadventures of a Korean-Canadian Family Running a Convenience Store. There you have it. My favorite character. Oh, like, it's like impossible to pick out of all of these characters. They are so wonderful. I think Mr. Kim is probably my favorite, but also I'm obsessed with Terrence. <laughs> I love Terrence so much. And the character I most like, probably, if I'm gonna be honest with myself, probably Shannon. <laughs> We're both a little bit awkward, but we mean well. The next one, I'm not saying the name because I don't want to get flagged, even though it's not a swear word, so please read it here. There it is. This one I kind of half watched. Um, we watched all of the seasons, uh, but I just, I didn't pay full attention. I gotta be honest about it. <laughs> because at first I didn't think they were very likable. Like I thought they were all kind of mean. And I was like, oh, where's the heart? But it grew on me. It definitely gets better after a character named Patrick comes into the show. When a rich video store magnate, magnate? That's a new word for me. Johnny Rose and his family suddenly find themselves broke. They are forced to leave their pampered lives to regroup in. <laughs> My favorite character is either Patrick or David, and the character that I most like is probably David. Oh, up next is Agent Carter. Probably my favorite show that I watched in quarantine. 
1946, Peggy Carter is relegated to secretarial duties in the Strategic Scientific Reserve. Say that ten times fast. When Howard Stark is accused of treason, he secretly recruits Peggy to clear his name with the help of his butler, Edwin Jarvis. Oh, why did I like this show? I loved everything about this show. I loved learning more about Peggy. I loved learning more about Howard Stark. I loved learning more about Jarvis. He is so wholesome and pure. I love him. The costumes, the setting, the suspense, the way it moves, like this series was perfection to me. My favorite character, of course, of course, is Peggy, but also Jarvis. Bless Jarvis. <laughs> and the character I most like is probably Jarvis. <laughs> which is a compliment. I'm honored to be like Jarvis. Next up was Encore, and this is more of a reality type show rather than the fictional shows that I've been talking about. Executive producer Kristen Bell, who also appears occasionally, like don't count on it, I think she appeared three times maybe, reunites the casts of high school musicals and asks them to perform it again years later. So real people from real high schools are getting back together to perform the musical that they did in high school. Each former student reprises their role from the original production under the tutelage of Broadway directors, choreographers, and voice coaches. I liked it because it was just very heartwarming to see these people come back, especially the older people, people that haven't done the show in 40 plus years. They were so cute and so excited to be back and performing. And the performances are always like kind of funny <laughs> because these people are not professionals and most of them haven't performed since high school. Since these are real people, there isn't really a character to talk about as my favorite or as who I'm most like, but I will give a special shout out to Brittany from the Beauty and the Beast episode because she was so funny and so iconic. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. A housewife in 1958 decides to become a stand-up comic. That's all you need to know. What I liked about it, wow, okay. First of all, the costumes. Please, please, somehow can I have an unlimited budget to dress like Mrs. Maisel? It is all I want. The characters, the comedy, it's just a really good period piece, but it doesn't feel like a period piece. Like you're not like bored. Not that period pieces are boring, but it's like a period piece with a modern way of storytelling. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just really good. Favorite character? My favorite character is probably Mrs. Maisel. And the character I most like is probably Susie. <laughs> Except I don't swear, like ever. And Susie swears every sentence. The next show that I watched was Love, Victor. This is based on the movie slash novel Love, Simon. Victor is a new student at Creekwood High School on his own journey of self-discovery, facing challenges at home, adjusting to a new city, and struggling with his sexual orientation. Why I liked it? Well, it, it had a lot of heart. Victor himself was super lovable. You just, you rooted for him so hard the entire season. And I feel like it has really good representation. My favorite character, oh, my favorite character was Felix. Felix, bless Felix. I loved how nerdy and awkward Felix was in the best way. He's so sweet and I, I, I can't wait for season two to see what Felix gets up to. And the character I most like is probably Felix. <laughs> we're nerdy, we're awkward. That's us. Comedic relief. Next is Cobra Kai. And you guys, I'm obsessed. I suddenly, after watching Cobra Kai, want to learn karate really badly. And of course this happens during a pandemic where I can't go out and learn karate, but I have found beginner lessons on YouTube and I might start. I don't know if you can see them, but I got Johnny and Daniel from Cobra Kai Funko Pops. Aang's also up there from, from Last Airbender. But oh my gosh, this show, let me read you a synopsis. Decades after their 1984 All Valley Karate Tournament bout, middle-aged Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence find themselves martial arts rivals again. So it's based on Karate Kid, the classic 80s movie, which I loved. And when I heard that there was going to be a series, I was very skeptical. I was like, why, why are they messing with Karate Kid? Can we just leave it, please? But wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's so good. It's the perfect balance of nostalgia and new storytelling. It brings new life into the franchise. There's so much gray area because before I was like full team Daniel LaRusso. I'm obsessed with Ralph Macchio. That man does not age. He is beautiful. Daniel LaRusso has my heart. 
but in this there's so much gray area like i don't want to talk about it too much but it's like oh am i on daniel's side fully like i thought i was or am i like kind of thinking johnny might be okay like who knows it changes episode to episode fun fact about this tanner buchanan who plays robbie was on girl meets world and if you've been following me for a long time, I used to make videos about Girl Meets World every single week. And one time when I went to set, Tanner was there and I didn't get to say hi to him. And now that I'm obsessed with Cobra Kai, it hurts even more. I am so sad. So Tanner, if somehow magically you're watching this, hello, I'm sorry we didn't get to meet. My favorite character. Oh, it's so, so hard. Like, of course I'm obsessed with Daniel LaRusso, as I just mentioned, but also, oh, I love Miguel and I, I really like Robbie. Oh, oh my God, wait, no, scratch everything I said. My favorite character is Dimitri. Bless Dimitri. Dimitri has my heart. He's the best, honestly favorite character hands down Dimitri. I love him. I see so much of myself in Dimitri. Never have I related to a character more. So that answers who I'm most like. I am so much like Dimitri. I watched this with my parents and every time he said something they were like, that's you. <laughs> Dimitri. And finally, the show that I am currently in the middle of, I am on season five out of six, Downton Abbey. A chronicle of the lives of the British aristocratic Wow, I just glitched. The Chronicle of the Lives of the British Aristocrat. Uh, what is happening? A Chronicle of the Lives of the British Aristocratic Crawley family and their servants in the early 20th century. Now, when I first started this, <laughs> the first few episodes, I was like, this is just a whole lot of white people and they all look the same. How am I ever going to tell them apart? But eventually, I did learn to tell them apart. It's still just a bunch of white people. We want diversity, but for what it is, I do enjoy it. I love the drama of it. I love that I can't wait to see what happens next because it's all so dramatic. Everything is heightened by 10. There have been times where my jaw drops because of the crazy twists and turns. Like it kind of reminds me of Jane the Virgin, but a lot less funny. <laughs> Like, it's kind of like a soap opera type thing. Favorite character, well, I love Anna. I think Anna's wonderful. I've recently started loving Mrs. Hughes. I feel like she runs the place. Um, I also like Mary, and I love Sybil. Oh, and Tom! <gasps> Tom. Oh, how I love him. <laughs> This show was popular at the time One Direction was at the height of their popularity. And I was a huge One Direction stan. If you filter my videos from oldest to newest, you'll see all of my One Direction videos, though some are private. And I remember hearing that the guy on Downton Abbey that plays Tom was so much like Niall. And I was like, there's only one Niall. <laughs> but now that I'm watching it, I cannot unsee it. He reminds me so much of Niall in the way that he talks and the way that he looks and he's gorgeous and I love him. And the character I'm most like, I wasn't sure, so I asked my mom and she says Anna, which I take as a high compliment. Thank you, mom. So those are all of the shows that I have seen in quarantine. Let me know if you have recommendations. I prefer comedies, with the exception of Downton Abbey, I suppose. <laughs> but if you have any really funny ones, definitely leave those below. I think next I might be watching Julie and the Phantoms because Kenny Ortega did it and Kenny Ortega is everything. Everything he touches turns to gold. And Boo Boo Stewart's in it from Descendants, so I'm definitely into it. I love you all. Stay beautiful, you people, and stay safe. Bye!